Kingdom dispatches a 747 to Cuba to pick them up. It's all done in secret, but 60 Minutes obtained this footage from the Saudis. The prisoners step onto the aircraft slightly dazed, their shackles and blindfolds having just been removed. On the long flight home, they are checked out by a medical team and logged into the Saudi legal system. So far, 117 Saudi men swept up in Afghanistan and Pakistan in the months after 9-11 have come home from Guantanamo. One of them, Khalid al-Ja'ani, was once a disciple of Osama bin Laden. I've been involved in this uh, jihad thing since I was young. And uh, I was believing that I have to help the Muslims, and this is the right way to do to perform jihad. Jahani first went to Afghanistan in the 1990s, and was with bin Laden in the Tora Bora Mountains during al-Qaeda's last stand against the Americans. So you were in Tora Bora at the same time as Osama bin Laden? Yeah, yeah, I met him there. Jahani was captured in Pakistan and ended up in Guantanamo with hundreds of other so-called enemy combatants. Four years later, he went home to Saudi Arabia, where he became a prime example of how the government treats one-time holy warriors it no longer considers a threat. After one month, they called me and they said, OK, uh, uh, go and get your car. I said, car, OK. They gave you a car? Car, yeah. All the people that they've been released from Guantanamo, they gave them a car to help them to get in the society. Then he met personally with Prince Mohammed bin Nayef, the head of Saudi internal security, roughly the equivalent in the U.S. of an ex-con sitting down with the director of the FBI. I went to his office and they said, I want to get married. He said, OK, write how much it's going to cost and we'll take care about it. So, Wait a minute. First, they give you a car. Yeah. And then they give you money to get married with. Yeah. Then they give you the house. So they're not just paying for the ceremony, they're, they're paying for the house you're going to live in? Yeah, yeah. A top aide to Prince Nayef, Major General Yosef Mansour, says the money, which adds up to tens of millions of dollars for all the former prisoners, is not a handout, but a hand up. These are people mm. the United States call the worst of the worst. Yeah. Why would you trust the worst of the worst? Those, after all, our kids, and you are going to let them stay in jails forever.